Hi guys, Baz from Hognose UK here. This is my second recessive darkling clutch uh, that needs to be cut in a few days. So this is um, Darklin uh, Phantom Possible Leopard Het Pied Tour Pied. These, uh, I've not made Darklin Pieds before. Nobody else has as far as I'm aware. And um, so these, if I hit any, will be world first Darklin Pieds. So, without further ado, and without too much waffle, let's go cut these eggs and um, see what we've made. So here we have, uh, potentially, the first uh, darkling pieds. I made some darkling leopard head pieds a couple of years ago. Uh, this is to a huge pied that I've got. Um, these are a day overdue. I'm going to cut them. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to cut that one. That is disgusting. That before we start, in case I touch it. Oh, look at that! That is nasty. Right, these are very well dipped in. You have to excuse us all the goo in there. I've just cut two other clutches. This isn't the first clutch I've cut this afternoon, so we'll start with this one. A very big pied the female I got off from a friend of mine called Ben Harrow who lives in Scotland and there we go there is the first pied now that's interesting I would have expected darkling pieds to be dark um, there's a dark patch there very dark there um, but there's bright orange patches in it goes to um, <clears throat> I literally just cut a darkling clown clutch so I've made the world's first darkling clowns and the world's first darkling uh, pieds in the same afternoon, which is quite cool. Um, and I was saying that you know, dark clean, you put it into a dark animal and it enhances the darkness, it makes it darker. Put it into a light animal and it enhances the lightness. So there we have what looks like um, a dark clean phantom. So, oh, okay, so dad was possibly phantom, so he obviously is. There we have a, uh, a dark clean phantom. 100% um, het pied because it's het to a visual I expect to get a few hets big babies but as, as I just said mummy's big she's a big animal she's probably about four and a half kilos there's another pied wow so the head's rather cool looking and, and these markings here I don't think you're about to see these on the camera these markings in here are really cool Okay, so that's that's cool. And there's no chance of these being um, retained sperm of anything else. So she didn't lay last year, and the only thing I put in there was a darkling this season. So darkling, what well, I think uh, it, it might be leopard as well, but I, I, I think darkling and leopard don't actually do a lot together. So it'll be interesting to see if any of these are actually leopard or not. Look at the oranges on those. That's really cool. And again, there's the darkness going through the orange on that one. Oh, these are really cool. I can't wait to see these guys out of the egg. So that's three. That's three pieds already. Yeah, awesome. Now I've said that, that obviously I won't get any more. You have to excuse if you can hear that puppy in my next door neighbour's got a puppy and it's yelping its bloody head off. Um, that actually uh, is a darkling. So that will be a darkling hep hide. Just a darkling on its own. Hey, I've said it now, I've killed, I've just, I've killed the vibe. This is a tough old egg really tough hard one there's another pied wow i like that one look at the markings around the edges of the saddles look like these this is something i've not really noticed ever on a pied before and that one's really he's got a really light um color behind his head almost examficky looking cool
Oh, there's another one. Yeah, these are awesome. You're not going to be able to see a lot in this one. So there's a lot of colour at that end and there's a lot of colour at this end. So the head and the tail, which probably is synonymous with... Look at the colours on that. I'm going to say with a leopard darkling uh, pied. Because the um, a lot of leopard pieds I hatch have a bit of colour at the head and a little bit of colour at the tail. And not a lot in the middle. And I expect that's going to be one of those. Last but not least, how many pies is that? Four or four or five? I'm not tired, honest. And there's another one. Wow. Wow. Again, you know, literally just made darkling clowns, and these darkling pies did not disappoint. These are awesome. Can't really see a lot of this one. I can just see a bit of colour on the tail. Um, I think that's one. Two, three, four, five, six pieds out of eight eggs. Oh, wow, that's a bloody good odds as well. Awesome, maybe my luck's changed again, back to what it used to be. Excellent, so I'll do an update when these guys are out of the egg. So here they are all shed off. So this is from uh, a darkling, I now know is a phantom possible leopard. Um, het pied to um, a normal pied so start off looking at these and this is this is how I know that it's uh, got phantom in because there is a phantom we'll start off here and that is just I think yeah just a normal darkling so that's a darkling 100% het pied let me just turn my camera up a little bit more that's it and that is a little boy. And then there's a phantom darkling. These are, these turn out quite nice actually. I thought my phantom darkling might be leopard because of all this on it, and I I'd done leopard to it and didn't hit any. But I'm thinking, looking at these now, that there isn't any leopard in there, so maybe he's not. So this is a Darkling um, Phantom, 100% head pied, and it's a boy. Let's hope the whole clutch doesn't continue that way. Pack it in you. Not too many boys. Then there's one here that hasn't shed. I'll leave him till last anyway, because he's like a jewel. So this is the single gene Darkling pied. It's really lovely dark rich like chocolatey colours in there obviously there's no belly on these so normally a darkling's got quite a busy belly um, it's got a single ice it's got the single broad eye stripe like a typical darkling um, it's just a lovely deep rich colour it's hard probably probably be hard to pick it up it's lovely oranges in that on it really nice animal not sure where to go with these now I've got to find something that um, makes the darkling pop I like these, but um, ow, shit, got me. Look, um, I'm not really sure where to go with them now. I've got to put something in there. That, I mean, I, f I find that pastel darklings um, really ping. Lesser darklings really ping. There's a few light colours. I think maybe um, I'll, I'll probably put these to an orange dream pied or something like that. Um, same again. Big broad eye stripe, dark rich colours. Um, quite a lot of orange. I, I like this striping un, next underneath the striping on the sides. Really nice. That's a really nice animal. And that is a girl as well. So the two visuals are both girls. Very angry that darkling. And then there's another one. There is actually another one from this clutch. It's a um, a darkling phantom pied. He took absolutely ages to come out of the egg. Uh, I put him in a box on his own. He's come out. He's absolutely fine. There's no no issues with him. There's, there's nothing wrong with him. But um, he, he's nowhere near shedding yet. He only literally come out a few days ago. So you know, I won't bother showing him. But, um, there we go. Another dark limpied. A lovely different contrast in the different colours of the saddles there. None of these are really three bars, which would make me think leopard. 
and none of them have really got a leopard I say none of them got a leopard wide behind their back back of their head but this one has got a little bit but I'm still not convinced there's leopard in the dad I might have to do leopard duckling again and there's a boy so that's cool and then there's another one so this these two this one hasn't shed so I'll just show you him first so this is a um, a phantom darkling I like the way the way it's made the head really dark and it's washed a lot of the pattern out on that I really like this animal actually I think I prefer the other one but I like this and that is a little girl and she hasn't shed yet stop biting people yeah so there we have and there we have this one's got a much higher expression of pattern um, so th this is another phantom darkling pied um, really lovely dark head really dark eyes they've got the usual pied grey under their chin yeah they have so the chins are quite grey and then the rest of it's just completely white it's a very high white pied as I said probably said in one of my other videos people used to love the high white pies but now people seem to prefer the more patternless ones patternless is that a word? and that is a girl so I did get some nice nice females uh, to hang on to and there we go really really nice clutch really happy with those first darkling pies that I've made so there you go nice big clutch of pieds um, darkling pieds they are, you know they're different from an ordinary looking pie they're darker they're richer they've got the lovely eye stripe um, so what the next step is work out what I'm going to do with them so I need to put some enhancing jeans in there maybe dark jeans so maybe I'll breed one of them to a blackhead pied I just made a blackhead super pied so that would be a brilliant one to do because then everything the whole clutch would be dark clean blackhead pieds um, and then maybe um, put go the other extreme and put like um, I've got a super orange dream fire head pied he would be great to go into one of those or in fact I've got orange dream pied so just like a single gene orange dream pied so maybe that would be the one but whatever I need to, whatever I do I need to go forward with like a, a one dark and one light gene um, as, as I've said and I've probably said many times the, the way the darkling works is really weird I haven't really unlocked the key yet but you know it enhances light stuff and makes the dark stuff darker and richer so it's, it's a really cool quite versatile gene um, and uh, oh, well, you know I've been working with it long enough I absolutely love it so there we go um, if you enjoyed this video please press please press please press the like button uh, if you haven't already I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and um, stay safe out there